Coliseum Lodge channel. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is a tour of my home theater room. A uh, couple things to, that you're going to see a lot of is you're going to see a lot of the color blue. It is my absolute favorite color. In fact, this color here is the original color of this room that made me fall in love with this house. As soon as I saw this color of the, uh, of the room, I, I kind of felt like we needed to live here. The color was just too perfect for me. And then the other thing you're going to see a lot of is my boy Pennywise here. Um, I absolutely love the 2008, 2017, 2019 uh, It Chapter 1 and 2 remakes. Um, I love the original, but uh, something about this character design and the way Bill Skarsgård played him, I just really, really latched onto it. Uh, probably my favorite horror icon right now, um, and that's pretty big. So uh, let's go. So as I indicated, you're going to see a lot of Pennywise. We're going to start out here uh, with uh, keychains. These are the keychains. And then I got some of the mystery minis up here in the case. Some of the classic Universal Horror Monsters as well surrounding Pennywise. And then we have Come Back and Play on the Door. We've got some pretty cool artwork here. Um, you probably won't be able Tell, but let's try. Uh, nope, not really. Uh, Pennywise's eyes actually glow in the dark. I added that as a neat little feature. So let's go in. Okay, so here we are in the room. I uh, just came through the door. Got some of these Life of Agony banners here hanging on the door. My favorite band of all time. So I've got some of their merchandise to represent them. I've got some vinyl. The lesson two when I'm in here first tower speaker with the Atmos. We've got a couple of blue chrome pops. Like I said, you're going to see a lot of color blue. We've got my 65 inch Sony 4K television set. And my PS5 router, center channel. Here we have a couple of more Pennywise figures. We have the Minico here between these two Q figs. The basic one and then the Deluxe. Coming down here, we have the PlayStation 4 Pro. This is the 500 million system. It's got a, looks like a clear blue. Uh, hard to see in the light, but trust me, it is a pretty cool clear blue. Got the Sony 4K Blu-ray player, got my PS3, my receiver, and this right here. Where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. That is a uh, Sony region blu-ray player so I can order discs from pretty much anywhere. Uh, in this case I got, you can kind of see it, there's my HP desktop so I can use the computer on the TV. I got a 360, an Xbox 360, and an Xbox One. And of course it's the Blue Force Edition. <laughs> and this guy here is the quarter scale Pennywise from NECA. As a jack-in-a-box and we've got the Mattel Creations Pennywise doll got the PSVR live long and prosper I saw it it was blue I love Star Trek there you go so I got the Atmos speaker on top of the tower continuing over here we've got some candles smell good. I've got my Sony turntable with the bull moose slip cover, slip mat. We got the Lego Dom's charger. This is pretty neat. We've got put in the light kit. It's a pretty badass set made I think even better with the addition of the light kit. The ship in the bottle Lego set, and one of the old school Millennium Falcons. Got some flash one, flash pops, some movie candy, little mini fridge with the Ninja Turtles on it. 
Okay, to the couch, we got Pennywise pillow. Again, blue blankets, as far as the eye can see. Baby Yoda. Snuggle him during the Mandalorian binges. We've got the Stranger Things Lego set. This is an absolutely gorgeous set. Probably, well, there's, there's two that really come to mind and this is definitely one of my two favorites. Great set. And then the Haunted Hidden Side Haunted High School. And then up here we have my Flash Shrine. Okay, got the badge replica from the TV show. Flash stuff here. He has been my favorite superhero since I was a kid. And then behind the couch we have chargers, Sonos. Got some controllers there. Quick and easy access. And up here we do have my absolute favorite Lego set of all time. The 1989 Batmobile. signal that when it's nice and dark in here I can fire the bat signal on the wall and it'll come up in the Batmobile and save me I guess. We've got some pops. We got the DC and Marvel Chrome pops. Lighted cages, cases. We've got Batman versus the Joker on the top. back speakers you'll see there's four actually run it in a uh, Atmos uh, 5.1.4 system oh I saw that the subwoofer is down there under the PSVR okay so back here this is a fanny pouch it's pretty incredible and then my toy replica Here we got the Universal Monsters along the Dark Reaction set. Those are, those are pretty great. I uh, love the Universal Monsters. The fact that they are glow in the dark and blue, just perfect. We got Darth Vader's Castle. Okay. The It print that came with the Mattel doll. Um, and another thing is, is these are blackout curtains thermal as well so you never really know if it's night or daytime in here it's great nice and dark we got Elvira comic probably the greatest Elvira comic cover of all time we got a pin from Electric Black which is a series a comic book series written by my good friend Richard Woodle you should check it out he's an amazing artist he's got some great comics out there yet another Batmobile little mini Batman DeLorean Dark Crystal, Crystal Shard, a little friend, a goat, then the black stuff, a baby Yoda, this Hulk glows in the dark, he's pretty cool, we got the Razor Crest from Mandalorian, TIE Fighter helmet, got, some, got a sound wave, got DeLorean Hot Wheels, 
Size model. Some small miniature action figures. Pack a pack of cauldron. Glows in the dark. It's really cool. Another Batmobile and a glow in the dark stripe. This right here is a painting made by my good friend Rob, uh, who passed away a couple years ago. Uh, there was a time period where I wasn't doing so well health wise. And uh, to make me feel better, he actually mailed me my favorite painting he'd ever done. And there it sits and looks over me. Every time I, every time I see it, I'm blown away at what an incredible artist he was. And a great, great, great family. Okay, got the chair. Got some more Pennywise Pops. Beetlejuice. Fallout plasma pistol. I don't think it's going to stop anybody from coming in, but I can certainly give it a try. Okay, there's a blue chair. And here we have this chest I use as a coffee table. And what we have here are some of the supplies I use to take some of the photos. Uh, first, I use these things here backdrop so it's easier to cut the characters out and photoshop the background. I've got some various little toys and props I can use. I haven't used too many of those yet. This here is some USB, USB extension cables. USB ports there. And what I do with that is I pop these different colors in. Green, white, blue, ice blue, yellow, red, purple. And what those do is they, they create, the, these light up those colors when they're plugged into the extension cords. So I'll use something like this to position the lights around the figures to create some artificial light and uh, take the photos. Cushion wire, figures from, like I said, use that to position some stuff. These are cool. shadows and such and so I take the photos right here using those backdrops using these supplies here and then I use my iPad here to Photoshop them so I use a couple different programs that's how I take those photos that's the stuff that I use for those and this is my home theater. So normally that stuff isn't right there, but you know, chill here, watch some movies, play some video games. So that's the tour of the home theater room. Um, I appreciate you guys taking your time out to hang out with me and watch this video. Um, again, in typical speak, if you want to like and subscribe, um, if you want to check out the Facebook page, like I said, that's the hub for the entire ETM Lodge experience. Um, uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Most of the people that I've been interacting with have never been over or been able to see the home theater room that we, I use. Um, so I, I want to take that time and opportunity to share it with you guys. And that's it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, it's going to be a tour of the movie room. And uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff in there. Until then, thank you very much, take care, and I appreciate all of your support. Bye.